exciting stuff is happening. This week, I received my long-awaited email from DORMS, which is Disney's on-site resident management system. Uh, DORMS is the program that you'll be able to use if you wanted to request a certain apartment complex, or if you wanted to request a certain type of room, or even request your roommates if you already know people that are going down at the same time as you. As usual, this video is based on my experience and could be completely different depending on which kind of program you're doing, and as well if Disney changes anything in the near future. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're watching this video, but I thought I would give you a quick walkthrough slash overview of the dorms process and what you can expect when you get your email. I decided that I wasn't going to try and meet up with any roommates before I got there and I'm just going to be leaving it up to chance. So if you are looking for more information about how to link with other people that are on the same program as you or starting around the same time, um, I'm not the person to ask. I have decided not to try and organize that before I get there and just have fun and meet people through the magic of Disney. <laughs> so the first thing that you'll see when you open your email is the registration open from time. So there is actually a window that they ask you to register within. So it's about three days or so. Just wanna make sure that you do it before then. If you don't register before that window is up, they will assume that you do not have any preferences in regards to who you wanna live with, where you wanna live, and what kind of apartment you wanna live in. So definitely keep an eye on that registration window. Now, once you're on the dorms page, if you have not yet done your education registration, you won't actually be able to go through with your housing registration. So you're gonna have to go back through, even if it just means declining all of the classes, uh, then you'll be able to go on to the housing registration after you're done the education. The housing registration will start off on this participant profile page. So it's just a lot of basic information, um, but it also does have options for married housing, ADA housing, alcohol prohibited units, which even if you are over 21, you can still request to be in a, in a unit that does not allow alcohol. The next step will just be talking about your vehicle if you have decided to bring one. So they're going to ask you about the make and model of your car. Um, it is worth noting that even though it does say state for your license plate information, they do have provinces and territories from Canada. So that's nothing that you have to worry about. For the purposes of knowing when you're checking in and where they can expect you to be coming from, uh, they will be asking you about your travel information. So if you have not yet decided how you're going to be traveling to Orlando, then you can click the box at the bottom there that says I have not yet booked travel to Orlando, Florida. But for myself, I wrote that I was going to be driving and I gave an approximate time that I expected myself to be arriving so I could check in. After you've written out how you are planning to travel to Orlando, they will have you read through three different forms. So we have a community codes form, which is essentially just things that you shouldn't be doing in your housing complex unless you want to get termed. So uh, definitely give that a nice read through. Um, second, there is a payroll form and a vehicle agreement form if you have decided to bring a vehicle. The next step was really easy for me. I was adventurous and I didn't want to pick my roommates. Um, if you decided not to be adventurous and you have your own roommates chosen already, uh, obviously that'll be a bit of a bigger step, but for me I got to move right on to my housing preferences. I would recommend pausing the video here to look over all of the different apartment complexes, rates, and apartment types. Uh, it's definitely good to have an idea in mind of what you are interested in and what your priorities are as far as uh, your housing preferences. There are a lot to choose from, so it's going to go a lot faster if you already know what is most important to you. For me, my top priority was being in Commons or Patterson with uh, the most roommates possible. So I wanted either a three or a four bedroom apartment. I preferred to not have bunk beds in my apartment, and like I said, Commons and Patterson were my top choices. However, I did also include Chatham Square and Vista Way before I included any rooms with bunk beds. 
And that's it. So after you've listed your housing preferences, all you have to do is look everything over and hit submit. Um, who knows if I'm actually going to get anything that I've requested, but if you do want to find out with me, I will be finding out in two and a half weeks. So you can hit subscribe and I will definitely upload some videos about my move in and check in process. Um, but thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was informative and we'll see you again real soon.